For this next uh, tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you how to record a part and then quantize it to make it sit in time. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is select an instrument. So I'm going to right click here in the blank part. I could also go to project and add tracks, but right clicking is just as quick. Add an instrument track. And then I'm going to choose a bass sound. So here's a bass. Let me find one that sounds good. How about 80 stabber? That sounds interesting. Cool. So now I've got that, I press OK and it sets up my bass channel. I'm going to double click and name it bass so I know what it is. Then, at bar 5, set it to bar 5, then press record. Lovely. Uh, despite how badly I played it, you might recognize that as Billy Jean. I'll just play it for you again so you can hear. Now I'm only going to need a little bit of this, the first two bars, because the actual bass line repeats itself. So I'm gonna, the first thing I'm going to do is select the scissors here, and then go down to bar 7 and cut it. And it sli splits it into two. One, two. I'm actually going to delete the second half because I don't need it. So all I do is press backspace and it deletes it. I can also delete using the rubber tool, but it's quicker to press backspace or delete on the keyboard. I'm going to go back to my pointer tool. Now, this is where we use quantize. Now, quantize is a very clever thing. What it does is it will take your notes that you've got there and then snap them to the nearest point in the grid that you prescribe it to be. So for instance, up here at the top it says here that the nearest point it will snap it to is to one quarter note or a crotchet. So if I quantize by going MIDI and then over quantize, I can also use the Q button, it moves it all to the nearest crotchet or quarter beat. Have a listen. Now obviously this affects the groove, so I'm going to undo that by pressing undo and have another go, put it onto 8 and see if it makes any difference. And press quantize or Q. Let's have a listen now. See that's perfect as opposed to this is what it was like before. So I wanted it on 1.8 just for this bass line. It might change later. So 1.8 and keep it there. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is add some drums. So that's how to quantize parts. Make sure you quantize because then when you take the click off, it sounds like it's in time. 